Hey everybody, welcome back to Warpaint Off-Road. I'm Dan, and today I'm gonna talk to you guys about how to save some money. Show me the money! While building your Jeep. No, this isn't about discount codes. This isn't about anything like that. It's just about how to plan your build and some of the things that you're gonna wanna tackle first so that you don't wind up doing them twice and wasting a bunch of money. There's a way to do it to save yourself a bunch of cash that I wish I knew in the beginning. So stick around, check it out. All right, so first and foremost, the number one thing I feel like any Jeep needs if you're gonna be going off-road, everybody needs a winch. Now you don't have to spend a ton of money. My winch happens to be from Harbor Freight. It works great and actually back when this winch was first released, they did a shootout in an off-road magazine between this winch and some of the other high dollar, more name brand winches and this one actually ranked very high on the list. It's a good piece of safety equipment. It'll save you when you get yourself into a situation, but it can also save some of your friends. You don't wanna be the guy out on the trail that doesn't have one. But how heavy duty do you get? Well, the rule of thumb is to get one that's capable of pulling one and a half times the weight of your vehicle. Figure out how much your JKU weighs or your JK, your TJ, whatever it is that you're building. Well, the one that I have is a little bit more, but I'd rather have more then not enough. Obviously, Warpaint here, it's got a lot of stuff done to the old gal, but I'll tell you, one of the best things that you can do when building your Jeep is to make sure you get yourself a nice set of tires. Now guys, when it comes to off-roading, you can actually do quite a bit off-road with a stock Jeep. Excuse me? You don't even have to build it all that much to make it fairly off-road capable, but the grip you have on the terrain you're gonna be on, that's gonna be the determining factor. You could take the biggest, best built Jeep out there on the face of the planet. If it doesn't have the right tires for the terrain it's on, it's not gonna do all that well. Now, one of the next things you're gonna wanna get for your rig after you've gotten yourself a nice set of tires and a winch might be a set of bumpers. Oh, hey! Some rock sliders. Little pasture and skid plates. We're also gonna put diff covers in that situation. And I've done videos about all that stuff that I'm gonna link in the description here. But you don't have to spend a ton of cash on it, okay? You can spend a ton of cash. Fun coupon! But you don't have to. If you pay attention to the material that they're made out of, and as long as it's comparable to the more expensive stuff, they might not be just quite as strong, might be a different quality of steel, but it's still gonna be seriously strong. And in fact, I did a skid plate review right here that you can definitely go watch, and it's gonna tell you how you can save a ton of cash on something like skid plates, which are typically extremely expensive because it's not something that you're really gonna have to replace if you do it right. And with that comes my next point, experience. The best plan is to build your Jeep while you learn how to off-road it. But when you're driving off-road, it's completely different. You have to understand how your suspension is going to react. How the weight of the vehicle is going to react and what the vehicle's limits and capabilities are. And that's, in fact, the best way to learn. Start on the smaller stuff. Start on the easier trails. Get used to your vehicle. Build your off-road confidence. You'll learn how to winch. You'll learn which rocks to avoid and which ones to put your tires on. And then as you upgrade and go from there, then your vehicle and your, your driving ability will match itself and you will be a much more capable wheeler off-road. And I got news for you. I have seen people on 40s not be able to get up stuff that a guy on 35s rolled up to and just walked it because he had a bunch of experience. Experience is the key. Stick Lance Armstrong on a Huffy, it's probably still gonna kick your ass on a bike race. But of course, after you have all that experience, you're gonna wanna do suspension. Now, suspension makes your vehicle a lot more capable going over much larger things. It gives you a lot of suspension flex. It 
It allows you to cross harder terrain, bigger rocks, climb steeper hills, all kinds of things like that. And it will allow your vehicle to clear your larger tires. But obviously at this point, we haven't done anything to our vehicle that we're gonna have to do twice. So nothing that you've done so far has been a waste. And that is the key when building your vehicle. Spending money twice on things because you bought the cheap rock sliders, then you bought the expensive rock sliders, that just makes an expensive build even more expensive. And it doesn't have to be that way. So do it once, do it right. But when it comes to suspension, there are a lot of different options. And I made a video that talks all about lift kits. Warpaint here has a pretty custom suspension in it on one ton axles. So it's a little bit different and that allows me the safety and reliability when running a 40 inch or larger tire and doing the harder things off road and research it. Don't fall for the stuff that's just happens to be painted the color you like or is at the price point you're comfortable with because you might be able to buy good springs and a good shock that matches that spring and all the other components for a lot cheaper than some of those packages sell you. Last but not least, a little bit of safety equipment. If you get to the point where you're doing custom suspension, big tires, axles, all those kinds of things so that you can go off road and do the bigger stuff, you're probably gonna want some safety stuff. Simple first aid kit inside your Jeep is really smart. Most people overlook it, but you're out in the middle of nowhere a lot of the time off-roading. And even if your Jeep is still drivable, when someone's hurt, you're gonna have to cross difficult terrain slowly. And anytime somebody's injured, time is not on your side. But you're also maybe gonna want some type of roll cage inside of your vehicle. I did a review on this roll cage because it is not the most expensive, best roll cage out there, but it's certainly better than what this Jeep came with factory, and it's gonna protect me in the event of a rollover. Now, at some point, I'm gonna upgrade this roll cage because my wheeling ability is beyond it, but that means when I do certain things and take that risk off-road, I try to do it in the safest way possible, realizing that mistakes happen, things happen, parts break. And when they do that on an obstacle, you do have the potential of rolling over. So you just want to keep everybody safe because when it's not safe and when it's not affordable, it's not fun anymore. Build it right, do it once, do it the first time, and you'll save yourself a ton of cash especially if you do it yourself. So guys, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make this quick video to help guide some of you in the right direction. Of course, there's other things like bead locks and all that kind of stuff. And those have awesome benefits when you're off road. And there are some things that I didn't talk about. Save some cash, build it right the first time, build it so that it lasts and that it's durable and just enjoy your Jeep and getting outside and having fun with it. And of course, guys, make sure you give this channel a subscribe give this video a like share it with your friends that are also new to wheeling and make sure you get out there and build something yourself because this jeep did not cost anywhere near what you think it did because i'm the one that did all the work to it i also have another build going on on this channel right now that you're going to want to check out because it'll show you exactly what you can do with a budget and how capable you can make an old jeep so Get on over, make sure you check it out, and build something.